Hello and welcome to this week's 89.9 Seconds, a show in which we deliver this week's news or hottest news stories in just under 90 seconds. I'm Lee Chui Lin, joined by Audrey Raj and Richard Bradbury. This week we are talking about Lee Chong Wei, um, Comets, Probes, Kim Kardashian, all rolled up together, and the African Cup of Nations. Let's get started. <laughs> First up, how the mighty have fallen, or have they? Because some would argue they don't deserve to. Um, world number one and national sporting hero Lee Chong Wei is currently serving a um, provisional suspension because a banned substance was found in his blood. And the thing is, some people are calling him a cheat, and others are not. Richard? Well, as you say, it's, it's a banned substance, and as an athlete, you should know what you're putting in your body. You yeah, should know how your body reacts to it, how it digests it. It's, it's a hundreds, banned substance. Though. He's not he's not a medical doctor. There are hundreds of banned substances on the list. How are you supposed to keep track of everything? The issue here is he's being called a cheat. Is right. he really a cheat if it's not a performance-enhancing drug? Which this is isn't. an anti-inflammatory medication. It was, it was rehabilitated. Used, right, yes. but there is evidence to show that this drug can help oxygenate your blood, which would performance which would enhance anybody. if badminton were played in the mountains all the time. Yes. But in this case, you Semantic, know, it wasn't. Though, but it's, no. it's on the banned substance list, you know? It's, it's on the banned substance list because they don't want two athletes to have deferring things in their blood and they want to create a, a level playing field and that's which is why right. it's on the banned substance list. Which is right, so you should be enforcing list. the rules and not pampering the athlete. I don't think it's pampering the athlete if, okay, fine, it may have some performance enhancing abilities, but it has also been shown to, um, you know, to not help with muscles right. um, in terms of you know muscle degeneration and so on, which I think as a badminton player leaping around, you kind of at his that. age. At his yes, at his age, he needs that. You're not allowed to put digs in on Lee Chang Wei. Okay, Chung fair um, yes. No, but he's I, a little bit better than me. He's really? I, I think many people are a little bit better than you, Richard. But here's the thing: the ban here will only apply, I guess, if it shows that it was a performance enhancing. Yeah. And Oh, in major star and science news this week, Kim Kardashian's butt is an engineering marvel. <laughs> um, there were other news, but it was all eclipsed. See what I did there, Richard? That was pretty good, actually, yeah. yes. Humankind have landed a probe on a moving comet after a journey of 6.4 billion Damn. kilometers. And, and it's the best news ever! <laughs> this should be like the headlines of every major newspaper, of every major news portal. Instead, like you say, it's been eclipsed by Kim Kardashian's butt. Okay, before we I go... I wanted to see images of gorgeous celestial bodies. I saw images of celebrity booty. Arguable. Arguable whether she's a gorgeous... Ce okay, I yeah, know, not arguable. But, you know, the thing is, we talk a lot about space travel um, and about Do space... We? Well. I think I don't know. I hear a lot about Kim K. <laughs> I guess, but one of the reasons why um, that you know that piece of news was eclipsed is also because is SpaceX as exciting as it used to be? I don't it think probably it probably is. No, I yeah. mean, and, and it's a project that's been going on for ten years as well. If it was covered a lot more often, if it was something a shorter length project, maybe six months, seven months, eight months, we could have followed it all the way through. But it's ten years. Yeah, something like that is hard to keep track of. And also, Kim Kardashian is so internet famous. I mean, yeah. I understand that we all we're all internet beings now, but maybe if we wanted to see coverage of this the internet wasn't the best place to be. Plus, with a hashtag like break the internet, I think that's going to get a bit... A few more clicks than no, than no. The comment, Seriously, right? it's the like internet is not meant you know. for Kim Kardashian to take over. Where are Wait. my kitten videos going to go? Honestly, think about it. But, yeah. but then again, maybe the, the, the issue with the comment is just it just applies to well people who are interested, geeks, tech geeks, you know, people who are really interested and those interested in nature, the but with Kim K. Species. This could answer things about where we come from in the universe, in the solar system. It's the biggest. It, sh it should be enormous. See what I did there? In our third story of the week, Morocco is coming under fire for refusing to host the African Cup of Nations. Racists or just worried about public health? Audrey? I think worried about public health because they've been, this concern has been raised from the time 5,000 people have died from Ebola in neighboring in African countries. We say neighboring, right? But the thing is, you know, Morocco, North Africa, they are sub Saharan. It's different. And, and the other thing, Four out of 54 nations um, are the ones who, are, who we're worried about here. I don't see it. But the issue here, it. it's the biggest tournament in the, on the continent. Mm. And you expect fans to travel from far and near to attend this tournament. And if the government themselves are afraid that they can't contain a virus, then I think they shouldn't host it. And to it. be fair, the, the borders in Africa are very, very porous. You're going to have people moving around all over I the place that. very, very easily. That's it a is a genuine health concern. That's a problem regardless of the tournament, though. And... Um, and these four countries that we're talking about are likely to not even qualify. So what is this travel that we're so it's concerned about? It's the fans about? that we're talking about. It's the thousands of fans that are going to be travelling into 
Morocco. If and all to. they're asking is for the tournament to be postponed to a later date. I think to set it in context, right, there have been a lot of discussions about immigration when it comes to Morocco. And that is also what seems to be informing this thing and this idea of there being pre-existing prejudice. And I think we shouldn't, I mean, just because we're far away, we shouldn't ignore that. Is there a money thing involved here, though? Is it going to cost them a lot of money by postponing it until January? Is that the issue, though? I think it's just that they don't want to change everything around. But for Morocco, um, a big part of, a big chunk of the economy is tourism. And one case of Ebola could ruin all of that. And Absolutely. they're not getting yes. that much yeah. money in yes. by hosting. And that is it for this week's 89.9 Seconds. Is Lee Chong Wei a cheat? Should we care about Ebola crossing borders? Do you care about Kim Kardashian's But If you have any comments, please leave them for us in the box below or also space travel. Whatever. Um, and you know the drill. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to video.bfm.my. See you next week. <laughs>